Yeah, no updates for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that didn't work. Um, trunk stripped both sides. Yep. But the fun part is out of the way. Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay. Where am I? Oh, okay. Um, I painted this. Pretty good, huh? Um, so the paint came from Paint Scratch, matched to, you know, the, the color code on the car. Um, you know, the marina blue. And it all came out really, really well. I mean, it matches, well, it doesn't match. If you compare that to this, kind of makes me wonder what sort of paint was put on here. Because this is, or maybe it's just old as shit, I have no idea. But if the whole car is going to look this nice, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so this took four cans, four spray cans of the, what was it, of the paint scratch stuff. And that's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks just to do this. So doing a whole car in that, God, that would be expensive. Uh, and then only two cans of that stuff over there, the, the 2K activated clear coat and I really didn't go too crazy with that stuff I just kind of <clears throat> just put it on there um, because again the majority of this is going to be covered by carpet and I don't really care about really doing anything as far as like wet sanding or whatever like just a little bit of gloss that's all I was looking for um, the only part that's really going to be seen is like down there and here, like this whole section. Um, this will all be covered, which is great because I got some runs right there. And it'll be covered by carpet, so lucky me. Also when I did this, I did not remove the springs or the, um, the what do you call it, hood pivots. Mainly because these things scared the hell out of me and I didn't want to take them off because they kind of look like a garage door spring to me and I have experience with those and they also scared the hell out of me. So I didn't touch them. Um, but, you know, no issue there. They're okay. So this is all done. Removed the... Finally got one fender off. This is just kind of hanging on here. Not too hard, actually, to take this off compared to the front fender. The front fender for some reason has like double the amount of bolts as this one does, even though this one's like twice as big. This one wasn't that hard. Just a bunch of like little holes on the interior here that you just kind of stick your wrench in and and they all come off. So there's like probably six on this length, two down there, and then like one hidden in there, one hidden down there, and then a screw there and a bolt there, and then a bolt underneath here the whole thing just comes off pretty nice and looking underneath it let me just move it Let's see it's like underneath the fender also looks pretty good so it's dirty oops it's definitely dirty but there's not a whole lot of stuff for me to really worry about as far as you know as far as like paint or rust issues like I don't know what this seal holds in here but this is all chipping off and it is a little gross in there so I think I'll just take that off wire wheel it just slap some I guess some uh, leftover rust bullet on there and just leave it because again, this will never be seen. Um, and I want to do some rust, because that is rust, even though if it is surface, like I want to, you know, at least take care of it a little bit. I don't know what that seam does, but yeah, there's, whatever that is, it's it's coming off, it's, it's gone. Um, there's a little rubber molding that goes over here and I guess that's just to dampen vibrations against the fender and that was broke cracked so that's gone then there's this rubber thing 
this little guy right here goes the length of the car, that's still in good shape. Or not the length of the car, length of the wheel well. And that's still in good shape, so I, I don't have to do anything with that. Um, so for today, oh, let's just put you right, come on, come on girl. Um, this paint honestly doesn't look that bad, but fuck it. <clears throat> um, so for today, one thing that I do have to do is replace this guy. A few reasons for that. Main one being that um, after looking at the site, uh, at that Samba, um, apparently these what are they called? Like these poly uh, steering couplers? Like they're horrible and once they crack they basically just fail. Just, and you're pretty much down the road with zero steering so um, pretty much everyone said like don't ever use these things like they're horrible blah blah blah. Um, so I'm swapping those out with this. Oh. guy right here. It's a steering coupler from a uh, from a Beetle, I think it is. And that's what you're supposed to use. Well actually, you're supposed to have like a rag joint which is like a, a felt cloth sort of thing that goes in there, but they don't make those anymore. So the next best thing is this. And it's rubber, it has a little give in it, this has zero give. So, and also, um, Probably the most worrying is that now my uh, steering's locked up. So something's out of line here. I have no idea. I just literally followed the climber manual that said just undo these, keep them in about the same orientation, and bolt them back on. I did that and my steering's locked up. So I gotta take this off so I can return this and put that on, and then hopefully figure out why the hell my steering isn't working correctly. Uh, rest of the stuff to do today, I guess I'll start stripping that panel, that rear fender, or the rear deck lid. Either one of those I'll actually start stripping. And I'm gonna have to start getting the hoses together for this canister. It goes from like this, this guy here to here and there. And then in back through there and goes all the way around. Because uh, I got to get the fuel tank back in. I want to start putting all this stuff back in here so I can move the car in and out. And, or at least, like, you know, put, put a little bit of stress on the motor because it's been sitting for a couple months and it hasn't been started. So, actually, no, it hasn't been started in like, no, a month month and a half uh, so I want to get some I want to get it going a little bit get some oil moving in it because it's no good to let it sit for that long so on to the fuel tank oh I'm not going to show it to you I'll just tell you about it uh, the fuel tank I let it sit for about a week with degreaser in it because the first pass of degreaser just didn't I mean it didn't get enough of it enough of the crap in there so I wasn't happy with it so I let it sit for a week and uh, got a decent amount and then I let it sit overnight with Osfer in it and today I'll dump that out clean out the Osfer and let it dry and then maybe next week or maybe midweek this week I can put in the um, finally put in the the tank prep and seal that thing in and then put it back in um, and then I pretty much will I'll have this area fairly finished off where at least where you know I can you know I can at least move the car a little bit but I'm pretty happy with this this looks pretty good and I'm excited that eventually the whole car is gonna be this nice light blue and shiny and yeah
it's gonna be nice. Ugh, senior moment. The issue why the steering was locked? Because the fucking steering lock was on. Now it's working correctly. I swear to God, man. I'm so smart but so stupid at the same time. Should probably start figuring out what the hell to do with these doors. Uh, specifically, I want to take them off so that they're much easier to paint and I can get into the jams here much easier. I mean, these jams actually look pretty good. Uh, whoops. Why do I keep doing that? Like, these jams actually look pretty alright. Honestly. But, you know, like here there's some and... But I mean, it would be easier on the painter if I could remove the doors. The thing is, I just, I do not want to align them. Because that is a horrible pain in the ass. So there's, I don't know, what I was thinking about doing is drilling a hole straight through here. Because the hinge doesn't sit flat, the hinge goes like right through. And if I drill a hole right there, and then put the drill bit, and then take the door off, and then when I'm going to realign it, put the drill bit back in there, then it's aligned. And I just, you know, put the put the screws back in but that's really hackish and I'm gonna have a big hole in my hinges another thing guys were saying is cut it right there like just take an angle grinder and cut it and then that'll get the pin loose enough that you can punch it out and then weld it back together that's another way of doing it I don't like that either so, I don't know. I'm going to think about ways that I can do this without taking the door off. And so the guy can paint it with the doors on. But I ran out of battery, sorry. I'm just lamenting of if there's a way I can do this without taking the door off. But I don't know. See how it comes through the entire way there? If I just drill into that, it shouldn't be too hard to align. Uh, but, I mean, how often am I going to see the door hinges? Just, you know, I mean, there's already going to be so many things with this car that aren't perfect. I mean, what's, what's, what's a hole in a door hinge, right? Yeah, so you could see, like, what they're saying is cut it, like, there and there in the middle, and then this pin will be easier to come out, and then you just weld it back on when you're ready to go. I don't like that. I'd much rather just drill a hole and just slide the um, slide the bit through there and use that as as the alignment for it. I'd much rather do that because I really don't think that there's a way that. I mean, it's just going to be so much easier with the doors off. Now it'll be a lot easier for me to strip it. A lot easier for me to do everything and like. You know, all that's going to be easier to get to, like everything in the jam. Uh, but I mean, you know, the guy's saying like, hey, just give me panels and I'll do them panel by panel. And right now I have three panels I can give them. I can give them both the front fenders, the hood, and then I'm working on the rear fenders. I'll have those done fairly soon. Trunk lid shouldn't be that hard to do. And then, you know, take the doors off. And then I have all this time to kind of do, you know, the actual body and the jams, which will probably take the longest. But, you know, the that wire, that braided wire, wire wheel stripper I got, like it was 20 bucks and it's still going strong and it's still working really, really well. So that's a really good use of my money. Like, I highly suggest that stuff if you're going to go strip and paint. Like, just get one of those. I mean, I know it's like 15, 20 bucks, but, like, it, like I'm, I'm literally stripping an entire car with it, and I haven't had to get a new one yet. Fuel tank is looking much better with the Osphorus sitting in there overnight. So now I'm just letting it dry out. And then once it's completely dry, uh, maybe midweek, I will start plugging off all the holes again. And finally, put the 
put the tank sealer in there and I'll be done with that. I really hate this trend I'm seeing on this car of Bondo over paint. Really makes me happy that I decided to strip everything down to bare metal. Because that's just not supposed to do that. It's cold and windy. I'm calling it. Um, this panel really wore me out, man. Oh, all this Bondo on here. It's a huge gash right here. And then all this is just like looks like it's kind of been tried to uh, been shaped back into place like using a like a like a pair of pliers but I will say this like whoever did the bodywork on this like at least as far as putting bondo on here and shaping it out I mean they're good at it but I mean they just did stupid things like put it on top of paint that's dumb but yeah this is gonna be a this right here is gonna be a bit of a bear to shape back but you know it had to come off I need to get something to get into these fins I don't have anything that can fit in there to really get this stuff uh, the other option I guess is just to soak it in um, what do you call it paint stripper but I think I'm gonna go that route to try and get to you know I get a little wire wheel in there but that's it. I need to pee. It's cold. I'm tired. That thing wore me out.